Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. What better way to watch Shakespeare than in the park? Well, San Francisco Shakespeare Festival has been doing it for 35 years now, and they have an incredible performance this year. Hamlet. Artistic director Rebecca Ennels and actor Nathaniel and Dallas are at our table to give us the scoop on this performance. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Yeah, okay, first Nathaniel, you play Hamlet. Yep. Okay, so <laughs> tell me why Hamlet, why now? Uh, well, for uh, why now is uh, because I was chosen to do this. Uh, <laughs> sure. Um, well, why did we decide to do this for the 35th uh, anniversary? Well, we had never done Hamlet before Free in the Park. We had done it on our touring production, but for 35 years, no Hamlet, arguably the most famous play Shakespeare ever wrote. Yes. And it just seemed like it was time. And we had just done it on tour, and, and actually Nate played it on tour. And so we knew how successful it could be, and we really felt like we wanted to explore the full play and not just the edited version. Yes, well, the full play, and the full play is four hours long. Right, well, yeah, to be fair, the tour is an hour. We still, we do about the hours in about two hours and, and 40 minutes. We don't do three, we don't do four hours. Okay, yeah, that's, but, but hey, people would watch it, right? Uh, in, in, in the park, it depends on the weather. Yeah. <laughs> that's true, that's true. And what about the costumes? Are they the big, elaborate, traditional costumes of the Shakespeare time, or no? We actually decided this year to go with a modern dress production, and um, I think that's very commonly done with Hamlet. It just feels like a very contemporary story to a lot of people, and it felt like we, we've done three years in a row of very traditional period productions, and this one we felt like this feels modern to us. Let's let's go with a modern presentation. Okay, so since you're modernizing it a bit, what about the language? Have you changed it a bit? Um, well, we have uh, some actors uh, gender switched in m multiple roles, so I think most of the language is only switched with pronouns, yeah. he's and she's and whatnot. But other than that, most of the language is intact. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you are known for this non-traditional casting, so how is that done in Hamlet? This is one of our most non-traditional that we've ever done, actually. Um, we have a number, of, there are only two women's roles in the original play, and so we've actually changed several of the roles to women's roles. We have a commitment to having 50% women and 50% actors of color in our productions, mm -hmm. and so we have women in several leading roles that are originally male roles, and we actually have a non-binary actor playing Ophelia, which is a, a really big difference for us, and we do use female pronouns there, but it's been great to explore how gender can go beyond the binary with that particular role. And a lot of good feedback from that. It's interesting. I mean, some of the surveys I've seen have people say thank you for the representation on the stage that we really feel included, and that's really valuable to us. Nathaniel, you feel a lot of pressure playing this big role? You know, I, I you'd think so, but <laughs> I, I think just growing up as the, the idea that Hamlet is usually some, uh, some thin white guy, yeah. then... Uh, it's just nothing that was in the cards for me. And so just just being thrust upon it, it was just something that just happened. And so like, I didn't have to feel that uh, I had to live up to any standards. I just had to be me and mm -hmm. just tell my story or Hamlet's story of him grieving his dead dad. Yeah, and we can see some of the play right now. So it is very modern with the, uh, with the costumes. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is which is something very different. Tell me about some of the best experiences you, you've had. It's been running for what two months now. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. um, actually, this Labor Day we had a performance uh, 2 p.m. Um, I had just come out to do the famous "To Be or Not to Be" speech, and of of the entire two month run, this was the most connected I actually felt to the speech. And it was just me explaining these thoughts that I was having and sharing it with the audience, and. After it was done, the next thing that happens in the play is Ophelia comes out and um, Hamlet and Ophelia have an argument. And right before that was happening, the audience just burst into uh, applause, which was mm. very, it was the first time. And it was, it took, caught me off guard a little bit. And then I was like, there it is. It only yeah. took two months and a, an entire <laughs> school tour, but I, 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 I found it. Yeah. I found the argument. and. Uh, it was it was quite a moving experience. I bet it was. Yeah. What is it like being in the park and putting on Shakespeare? I mean, is that mm -hmm. it's a different kind of venue? I, I feel like this, uh, it feels right. It feels it feels open. We're all in nature together. I'm here in front of you. You're here in front of me, 
and uh, it feels like that, that that's how these words should be said, mm -hmm. out loud and full, and then, so everyone can feel the vibrations of my voice, and so that we're all connected in this story together. It just feels feels right, but it, it feels good to say it in a, a stage or uh, on, sure. in, in a theater too, with the with acoustics that you can hear. Some if it's a windy day, then you're probably not going to get all of it. And what do you feel the audience feels, or what do you hope the audience feels at the end of the show? I just I remember seeing Hamlet the film um, the first time, and I remember the feeling of sort of like depleted devastation at the end of the play because it is a tragedy, and there's that kind of sense of, oh, what could we have done differently to prevent something like that happening? And so I, I hope that, that the audience leaves inspired by the language and inspired by, you know, the, the comedy in the play and the, and the inspiration sure. of the play, but, it's but also, play. yeah, it's a yeah. beautiful play, but also about the, the, you know, what can I do to, to prevent tragedy in my life? Sure, sure, to re really make you think. Well, if you want to catch Shakespeare in the Park, just log on to sfshakes.org. That's going to do it for our show this week, but we will be back with more Bay Area Focus next week. Have a great day.